Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects 2022 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to face track and change faces into caricatures, into funny faces. For example, here I've got one for you. I've got Johnny Depp and Amber Heard both talking on the stand and then all of a sudden Johnny becomes a bit clownish. I got a, little, I got a unique little effect going on with his face and then Amber Heard... Well, her forehead turns into a five head. <laughs> how do we do that? And how do we make these caricature changes? If I hit spacebar, you'll see that the face is tracked. So it's not like in Photoshop where it's a still shot. This moves with her face. Like these things move with them, as you can see here. So how the heck do we do that? Well, let's start from scratch. And I will show you step by step. Let's delete everything. Why not? Let's start right from scratch. So we're going to go new project. Might as well. Don't save, new project, whatever. Okay, grab your footage. So where do I have my footage? I have it in frequently used. Here it is. Here is the depth herd footage. I'm going to drag and drop that into my project. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And now, presto, it's on my timeline. The next step is you got to determine which one of these characters do you want to make the funny face on. So let's go with Amber Heard. Let's work on her first. So I'll show you how to do both of them with just... In, in, in both of them, but I'll, we'll work on her face. So the next step is making sure you're selected on the layer here. Go up to the top and select your ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse around her face. This is face tracking and this is basically going to create a mask. You'll see it's created a mask because it says oh, mask one. So there you go. So there you go. We've made it a mask and now you want to go from add, switch that to none. And the reason why we do that is because then we can see the rest of the video instead of just that face bobbing around in discombobulated space. So there we go, we've got a mask on her face. All right, next step here is making sure that you're selected on the mask, so the mask is selected. Go over to your tracker. If you don't see that, go to window, make sure the check mark beside tracker. Wherever your tracker is, the next step here is to hit basically the play button. We're just going to track selected masks forward, so we're gonna track it. So there we go, we're tracking her face. And this is a short clip, so she'll only take a few seconds, but presto, that is it. We've got a mask and we've got a tracked mask and you can see the tracking points on her face. So uh, we know it's a good mask. So we're on our way, we're doing good here. Okay, the next step is you wanna basically get a rest pose for her. So if there's a shot where one of your character or your person is looking forward towards at the camera, that's generally the best one to use. So I'm just going to left click set rest pose. Beauty. Now we want to extract and copy face measurements. It's very important. So left click on that now and boom, you'll see under the effect controls panel that we've got face measurements set up. So we have now tracked the mask and we've got the measurements and we're now ready to use the um, plugin. Now this is a plugin by the Motion Bro and it is a, f well, there's a paid plugin and there's a free plugin. You can check here. I'm going to click on this little folder icon and when I do that, you'll see here a couple things. One, AE Face Starter Pack, AE Tools Face Tools Starter Pack, and then there's Face Tools. The Starter Pack is currently free, although that could change at any time, but let's click on that and get to work. Okay, good stuff. Now, when I do that, you'll see here, well, let's just go ahead and click on it. There we go. You'll see here a whole bunch of different options. We'll see here we got Distortion. I don't really like this being here, but what are you going to do? I'm going to make it a bit bigger here. Hang on. There we go. Okay, distortion. So if you like, you can just hover over them. So if you're thinking about what kind of uh, caricature or what type of special effect you want to apply to her face, go ahead. Like this is a pufferfish style. If you want to change her forehead, why not? Let's change her forehead in this one, okay? We're going to go from a forehead to a five head. <laughs> Which one do I like? Do I like this one or this one? Oh, let's go with Sinead O'Connor. Okay, we're going to do this one. The next step actually is just to go ahead and left click on apply. Now, I'm going to minimize this for a second, and boom, <laughs> here's the original, click, now here's the caricature, she's got a five head, people, <laughs> how great is that? Now, one more thing I'll show you before I click off here, is if you want to show this as a gradual transition, you can go ahead and just move this to like, let's say 10 frames, and what I would do is there's no forehead, 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 five head, okay, go to the first frame, click here, Make sure you're selected and not hit the T button on your keyboard. T stands for opacity. Left click on the stopwatch and now drop that down to 0%. And then let's go forward to say the 20th frame 
and then go up to 100%. And what this does, this is an opacity transition. So basically it goes, well, let's just hit space bar. You'll see. Yep. She's got a five head. <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do face tracking caricatures and special effects for faces inside Adobe After Effects. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.